So for today, I'm unboxing this, the small rig CT20 tripod. It's aluminum and it's a combined tripod and monopod and it has a fluid head and it's less than $100. I th actually think it's about $75 I paid for it. I like small rig. I have a lot of things from small rig. So I'm excited to see what they have come up with here. I didn't know that small rig actually made uh, tripods. So let's just get it opened and see how it feels. The back uh, seems like it's uh, quite tight for the for the tripod. I usually have a problem with uh, putting tripods back into the bags they come with. In the bag there is oh, so in the bag uh, with the, the tripod there is a, a mount for smartphones, which I think is cool because it's there's a lot of people who uh, films on the smartphones today. And there is two plates uh, to get it. That, that's a cool nifty little like detail that you get two plates instead of just one plate because then you can uh, put it on two different things instead of changing all the time. And there is all so, uh, sort of extra things in the back here. Let's open the tripod here. Already I can say that I really like the quality of the tripod. It feels like it's good quality. This is aluminum uh, version. It's, it's quite light. It's not, it's not plastic light. It's, it feels like it's, it's good quality. And when you open it up, you have to like swivel the electron on here. And then when you go back, they click into place. So open up here, click, open up there, click. And then you have your tripod ready to go. Set it down like this. And then let's talk about the head right here. There's this tiny little screw here you can use and then you can turn it. Just have to mount it all. This one here, let's say you want it you can see there's this little pointer here and then you can use this if you mount it correctly then you can use this one to loosen it and then you can swivel it around here to see how many degrees you are turning your camera and if i lock this in zero here there's the, these two knobs here which loosens the ball head right here i think it's very cool that it has a ball head because it makes it so much easier to uh, have a camera and to level your camera. There's also these two leveling bubbles here on the side and on the back. And one thing that I'm very happy about this uh, that this plate mount up here is uh, compatible with these uh, these plates, which is supposed to, uh, the, I use the Falcom F38, which are Arca Swiss uh, sized and the peak design plates should also be the same size so if you have peak design mounted on your your camera all the time you can just slide this in to your, uh, your tripod right here and it fits perfectly there's also a feature that this is not only a tripod this is also a monopod see this leg particularly here with the foam can be uh, uh, unmounted like this right here and then you can take the head off the the ball head off here these two then you have these two parts and then you can put them together and then you have a monopod i already have a monopod i th don't think i'm going to use it that much but it's cool to have a monopod with a ball head um let's just get it on here Lock the tripod in the middle here. Now you can also upside down if you want your camera to be closer to the ground. Uh, and then you can of course extend the legs with these and then have it like much closer to the ground if you want like shots uh, all the way down to the ground. All, another way you can get it down uh, close to the ground is that these legs you can when you lock it you can lock them in three different positions number one number two and all the way up number three and if i go to number three position right here this is a very low of course i need to get the i can get this very 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 low down here 
this down here, I think it's to mount uh, uh, sandbags if you want some uh, counterweight. The tripod I have right now is this one, the big one from Siri. It's a video tripod compared to this one, it's much bigger. And I wanted this because I wanted a fluid head tripod and I also needed this for bigger video cameras because I was rigging up black magic cameras. I don't need that anymore. And because I don't need that anymore, I never ever end up using it. I always end up mounting my A7 IV on this tiny guy. And let's be honest, this tiny thing is not meant for the A7 IV. So comparing it to tripods, I have tried, not that I have tried so that many tripods. I really think that this is much, much better than what you pay for it. I think that you get so much value for the price and I look forward to use it. If you have any questions for this tripod, then leave it in the comments below. Consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.